Welcome back to another video, my brothers. Today's video is titled Five Bad Habits That Will Ruin Your Life. Without any further delay, let's get straight into it. The first bad habit is jacking off all over yourself. It's been a while since I've said that on the channel. I know a lot of people find that funny, but you know what? That's fucking up your life. Busting nuts on your own chest. Come on, man. That's a disgusting thing to do. You're at home in a dark room, 25 tabs open. Sometimes when the screen goes black, you see a reflection of yourself in your laptop screen. And you are in the most hideous position, hunched back. You know, your fucking bottom lip is hanging out, dry lips, bloodshot eyes. You've been up for four hours trying to find the perfect scene to bust one off to. And then after you're finished, you feel like an absolute piece of dog shit. And you should, because you've wasted four hours jacking off over some pixelated content. It's disgusting, it's stupid. Look, jacking off feels great, but it feels great when you're in an actual, real relationship with a real woman. And, you know, in that instance, you're not wasting any of that seed because you are having an intimate connection with somebody. But when you're jacking off on yourself, that's fucked up, man. You don't feel empowered after you've finished busting nuts all over yourself. You feel like a piece of shit. So stop doing that, man. Cut out the porn. Go outside. Work on yourself. Become a man of value. Attract a beautiful woman. Yeah, it may take some time, especially if you're significantly overweight right now and you're broke as shit. Yeah, it may take some time to find a good woman because you've got to fucking start working on yourself. But that's what I want you guys to do. You know, these pornographic websites are free for a reason. You are the fucking product. You know, they want you to be numb, sedated and weak. Laying in bed doing fuck all. Strong men are outside getting shit done. Strong men fuck a woman, a real woman. They don't fuck their fucking hands all the time. Okay, so it's the degenerate behavior, get rid of it. The second bad habit is being a people pleaser. Compromising your core values to please others. Bending over backwards. Mr. Nice Guy. Oh no, of course guys, yeah, no, absolutely, yeah, yeah. Everybody's friend. If you're everybody's friend, you don't have a fucking spine. You're a weasel, you're weak. I don't trust the guy that is everybody's friend. Because I'm sure he has some polarizing perspectives, controversial opinions that he's pushing down because he doesn't want to offend some people, especially when, when they do it around women. Now there are guys that behave differently around their guy friends as they do around women. As in, they're not themselves. They're not being authentic. Women love a guy who's always the same wherever he goes. He's not a fucking snake, two-faced weasel. You know those guys that act like somebody completely different when they're around some, some attractive girl. You know, you know, what the fuck are you doing, man? That's not how you are normally. Be yourself. No, they're acting like this person because they want to get this girl's approval. They're not being themselves. And look, sometimes we fall into that trap of being a people pleaser, especially when you're in a work environment. Maybe you feel that for the sake of keeping peace at your workplace and keeping your job, you have to shut your fucking mouth and be a little bitch. And I don't believe in that. I get it. You know, income is income and sometimes you're worried about saying the wrong things, but, but you have to maintain your integrity as a man and stand up for yourself even if it means getting fired. If you're being humiliated and disrespected at the workplace, you have to stand up for yourself. Now, I'm not saying start swinging. You know, no, no, don't do that. But for goodness sake, somebody calls you out in a humiliating way in front of your colleagues, pull that person to the side. Don't you dare speak to me like that in front of my colleagues. If you want to speak to me, speak to me like a man in private. Because there are going to be some people that will challenge you 
and that will think you're a weasel and you'll shut the fuck up because they're in a managerial position and you have nothing to say. That's how they feel. In their heads, they're like, well, you need this job so I could fire you any moment. They feel like they have that power. But don't you ever just sit down and take it like a little bitch. Stand up for yourself. And stop being a fucking people pleaser. The next point is being a talker and not a walker. Fucking walk the talk. Now, I believe in saying it. I don't just believe you should do it. I believe you should say it as well. Say, you know what? I'm going to do this. And then actually go out there and do it. Because then that just makes the victory so much sweeter. You said it and you fucking did it. People now know you as the kind of guy to get shit done. This guy ain't the kind of person who just fucking talks, flaps his mouth like most men. Because most men talk a load of fucking bullshit. Yeah, man, I'm going to start this business. I'm going to start doing this, you know. Every year goes by, they're in the exact same position. Nothing's changed. You know, you tell your girlfriend when you first get into a relationship with her, I'm going to start this business. You want to impress her. You start saying all this fucking bullshit. She's like, wow, this guy's ambitious. Three years later, you haven't started shit. And she's thinking, fucking hell, why am I with this guy? Talks a load of horseshit. Walk the talk. Say you're going to do something and actually go out and do it. You'll respect yourself in the process, man. You'll be able to look at yourself in the mirror and be like, you know what, man? Fair fucking play. Fair play. I went out there and I did it. You gain that respect. Your self-confidence increases. The reason why a lot of you guys don't have self-confidence is because you say you're going to do things and you don't do them. So you don't respect yourself. You know you're a fucking weasel. And I'm saying this out of love because I used to be like this. I would say shit to myself, I'm going to do this, and sometimes I'd say it to the people in my life as well, and, I'm going to, and I didn't do it. And after a while, I was like, man, Ali, what the fuck are you doing, man? You've been talking, you've been fucking flapping your mouth, do something. Okay? So if you're going to do something, actually do it. And this also applies to if somebody counts on you for something. Fucking follow through. If you told your friend you're going to help him move houses, and you're going to pick him up at 9, be there at 8 fucking 50. 10 minutes before, ready to help your friend out. Be a man of your word. Don't be the kind of guy that, you know, I'll be there and then you don't show up, you slept late, whatever. Come on, man. Okay, the next point is disrespecting your body. That's a bad habit, man. And I didn't put neglecting for a reason. Because neglecting sounds soft. I want to be really just fucking blunt with you guys. A lot of you are disrespecting your body. You're putting shit inside. Chemicals, additives. Now look, I like a dirty meal from time to time, right? But some of you guys are doing this on a regular basis, every week, every day. The energy drinks are the things that really piss me off the most. Four cans of Red Bull. I've seen some guys just being able to drink four cans of Red Bull a day, like it's nothing, the big ones. I'm like, mate, your heart is on limited time right here. Your heart, you're just going to fucking explode in your chest. The Doritos and the Monster Munch and all that. You're a grown man. Why are you eating Monster Munch? Every fucking day. If you really wanted to eat clean, you would. You would. But it doesn't mean enough to you. Make a fucking decision, man. I used to eat relatively shit food. No, I wasn't eating a fucking tub of Ben and Jerry's every day and three packets of Doritos. But I would eat out a lot. And the foods that I would eat out, uh, that I would eat when I'm out, weren't the really healthiest options. And then I realized a few months ago when I started working with uh, a personal trainer and nutritionist that my body composition wasn't what I wanted it to be. My body fat was too high. Now, although I looked great, I looked muscular and I looked in relatively good shape, when I took my shirt off, I was like, nah. This is unacceptable, man. I can't be 27 years old approaching my prime years looking like this. Hell no. You know, I need to start taking my nutrition a lot better, a lot more seriously. So I started to eat cleaner. If you really wanted to, you would, man. I used to make the excuse, I don't have enough time to prepare my meals. Uh, bullshit. One hour. Done. Chicken. Season it well. In the oven. Get a rice cooker. Chuck some rice in there, add some water, done. Everything's pretty much automated. You just gotta fucking season your own chicken, that's it. Come on, man, if you have time to jack off all over yourself, you've got time to cut up some chicken and chuck it in the oven, right? 
So stop disrespecting your body. Get your body in great shape this year. And then finally, the, the last bad habit, and a lot of you guys don't realize that you're doing this, is being a hater. Being that kind of person who puts others down whenever they're excited about pursuing something. And this is more prevalent than I thought it was. So many guys out, out there are just fucking haters, man. And a lot of them are sly with it as well. They're very fucking quiet with it. So to your face, they won't really say anything. But the moment you're not around, they'll talk shit about your new business, your YouTube channel, your TikTok, your this. Well, look at him making these videos. Oh, no, no, it's so cringe. Huh? They'll say shit. And the reason they're saying this negative shit is because your action, your progress is reminding them of the things they're not doing. They see you out there making moves and they're like, fuck, fuck's sake, he's out there, he's, his channel's growing every week, his business is growing, you know, her music thing is going well. Shit, I'm not doing, I'm not doing enough. So it bothers them because deep down inside they know that there's things they have to do that they're not doing. So you're almost inspiring them. In fact, you are inspiring them, but instead of processing that in a constructive way and thinking, you know what, maybe I should learn from this person. Instead of taking that on board, what they do is they resort to hate. That's their way of processing that. Stop fucking hating on other guys, man. There's plenty of money out there for everybody to become really financially prosperous. Okay, there's enough to go around. Have an abundance mindset, man. It's the same thing when guys go after, a, you know, for example, I've seen this a couple of times where guys have messaged me and they've told me that their best friend is now dating their ex. And I'm thinking, why is your best friend dating your ex? If he's really your best friend, he wouldn't go anywhere near her. There's plenty of women out there. You don't do that to one of your boys. It's that scarcity mindset once again. There's enough out there. Enough opportunities, enough women. Stop fucking hating. Because when it's your, when it's your time to shine and you're doing well, you wouldn't like it if, if other people started hating on you, would you? You'd want other people to appreciate all the hard work you've put in. So get off your ass. Stop jacking off and get to work and maybe you will also start doing well. With that being said, thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this video, make sure you slam that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe to stay tuned for more videos. See you guys soon.